we go to the next one. Honorable member for Petaoke. Thank you. <laughs> Madam Speaker, for giving the good people of Petauke to raise the matter of urgent public importance. Order, order, honorable member. Yes, you raise the matter of urgent public importance, but please uh, don't shout in the mic. Just speak softly, we can hear you. Otherwise, we are damaging our eardrums. You may proceed. I don't, you may proceed. Thank you, Madam Speaker, for your guidance. Madam Speaker, the matter um, under 184 is directed to the Minister of Agriculture. Proceed, I said proceed, Honorable Member. Thank you, Madam Speaker. <laughs> Madam Speaker, the Minister of Agriculture, this year, between January and uh, March, the Minister came to this house and informed the nation through this house that this year is going to buy the, is going to buy only three um, uh, crops, which is rice, soybeans, and maize, on this house. On the question uh, from Chasefu, or from Chama, where he say, where the Chama were asking about uh, cotton. And then the minister said that he's not going to buy cotton because, because cotton, you leave it. Order, Honorable Member for Petauke Central. There is a point of order being raised. Honorable Member for Matero, what's the point of order? Thank you, Madam Speaker. Madam Speaker, I rise patient to standing order 65. Madam Speaker, when you, you issue a guidance, we are all obliged to follow your guidance. You guided that the honorable member should turn down. Is he in order, Madam Speaker, to keep his notch very high, even after you have guided, Madam Speaker? I think you're serious with Madam Speaker. <laughs> Thank you, order. Although the standing order that has been cited is not correct, but Honorable Member for Peter, okay, please, as the Honorable Member for Matero has observed, you don't have to shout, shout. That's why there is a mic. We can hear you loud and clear. Please do not shout in the microphone. You are damaging our eardrums. Please proceed, but please do not shout. Thank you, Madam Speaker, for your guidance. But uh, the member of parliament for Matero you know how Judas Cariot are. So we understand. Order, order. Honorable member for Peter, okay. Order, order. I know that there is an outcry that people should be allowed to ask all sorts of questions. Now, I don't know how to get, categorize your question. But please, can we be serious? Can you ask your question and do not uh, attack another member for having raised a point of order? Proceed. Thank you. Madam Speaker, uh, the minister informed this house to say the government of the new dawn, they are not going to buy uh, cotton under that question from Chama, but instead they are going to buy this year, this season, 2022-2023 farming season. The, after the harvest, they are going to buy rice, soybeans, and maize. But uh, when I was in Ghana, Madam Speaker, I woke up to the root of shock. Thank you, 
Madam Speaker. So, uh, to that shock, Madam Speaker, the root shock, Madam Speaker, the, the minister only announced two crops, that uh, the government is going to buy only two crops, which is maize and uh, rice. Contrary to what he informed this house, is the minister in order to mislead the nation and to lie to the nation on behalf of the government that they are going to buy soybeans. He said, because right now, my people in the constituents, Petauke, Central, constituents, Madam Speaker, and Eastern at large, Southern, Namwara, Mchinga, uh, Isoka, uh, Western, Mitete, Katunda, Everywhere, country at large, everyone, Madam Speaker, they are dying of root of shock because this, the farmers, uh, they budgeted to say they are going to buy. Order, order, honorable member. We, I think we have taken note of your matter of urgent public importance. Can you wind up? Yeah. In conclusion, Madam Speaker, the, the people, when they were planting, when they were planting soybeans, they had it in mind that government is going to buy and then they acquired loan. Right now, uh, four people are admitted in my constituency because of uh, uh, BP. is not coming down. And I'm scared to lose them, Madam Speaker. And not only in Petauke, in Namwala, Southern Province, Dudumwezi, in Northern Province. In fact, even the sister... They related to order, the honorable, honorable member. Honorable member. So order, sick. order, order. Order, order, honorable member for Petaoke. In, in conclusion, order, Madam order, order. I had advised, honorable member, that please do not debate your matter of urgent public importance. We started business at 14.30, now it's 15.09. We've already lost 30 minutes. When we come to other substantive matters, honorable members will need a lot of time to debate. So please do not deb eat in the debating time. Raise your matters quickly and urgently as you put them that they are urgent matters. Can you wind up? Thank you, Madam Speaker. Madam Speaker, in conclusion, is the minister, my elder brother, in order to sit quietly well, see, our people in Eastern Province and the Zambia at large, they are, they are about to die because of how they are going to pay back because the government is the only entity which can give benchmark to the prices in the private sector, Madam Speaker. I seek your indulgence and your guidance, Madam Speaker. Thank you. Thank you very much, uh, Honorable Member for Peter Okay. As you rightly pointed out, that issue of buying maize uh, so, and uh, not buying soybeans was uh, stated by the Honorable Minister of Agriculture some about three weeks or four weeks ago. And from that time on, the Honorable Member for Petauke should have put in a question because we were admitting questions which are for oral answer. So Honorable Member for Petauke, the matter that you have raised is important, I agree with you but it does not qualify to be raised as a matter of urgent public importance. Please put in a question. If you had put in a question this time, it would have been on, on the list waiting to be answered by the Honorable Minister. So the door is not closed. Put in a question. The Minister will be able to address that issue.